So we're standing outside the hospital in Chiang Rai, Northern Thailand, where the boys have been rescued from this cave complex where the soccer team has been stuck, where they've been brought for medical care after they've been evacuated. We know that five boys are in there, the four boys who were extracted on Sunday over here in Thailand, and one boy, the fifth boy, who came out earlier Monday. A total of eight boys have been brought out of that cave complex, so we're expecting boys six, seven, eight to also come to this hospital. Earlier today, we saw ambulances go in, the ambulance, sorry, I should say, which brought the fifth boy into this cave complex. And as I say, we're expecting the other boys to arrive here as well. The rescue operations have now ended for the day, for today on Monday, and we expect them to resume tomorrow um, to bring out the remainder of the soccer team, the 12 boys, age 11, 16, and the coach. Um, we don't know why they've ended today. On Sunday, the operations halted in the evening because the divers who'd gone in ran out of oxygen. And so they spent the evening uh, getting their resources back in order, taking a bit of a rest, and then going back again early Monday morning local time. So we expect it to restart on Tuesday, at which point this really becomes a race against time. Up here in Northern Thailand right now, right now, sorry, it is monsoon season. It runs from around July till October. And the thing that's been hampering rescue efforts throughout is the presence of flood water in the caves, which occurred because of heavy rains earlier uh, in late June. The rains have been not that heavy for the last few days. That's helped the rescue efforts. The big concern is that forecasts show that the rains could return in the coming few days. That could complicate the rescue efforts up here. So everyone has their fingers crossed that the teams can go back in tomorrow and bring those who still remain inside this complex out before the rains arrive in this part of Northern Thailand.